All right, well, welcome back everybody to another chilly Florida morning. And we've been having us a real winter here lately. Tell you what, I've been dreaming about having one of these kerosene heaters for a while. Was talking about it at my parents' house last night. And lo and behold, they're like, hey, we have one, we've used it once. Happy birthday. <laughs> so I just got me a nice kerosene heater for the shop and I'm already loving it this morning. It's gonna be so nice to come over here and warm up my hands while I'm out here working. So speaking of work, today we're gonna to go ahead and build the frame for the uh, window unit for the storm shutter slash escape hatch. And uh, the reason I say that is because we're actually gonna build a steel door and things where we can close that hole up should we be in a really bad storm and there's potential of the window unit getting ripped out as well as if something were to block the front door, I'm making the opening just big enough that I can actually squeeze through and uh, take the window unit out so we have a back escape hatch too. That's been a very common question on the channel and a good one, but yes, should the door get blocked, we're gonna have a secondary exit there. So let me finish warming up, we're gonna get to building.
All right, so I got this idea from a friend of mine and a viewer about making my own hinges. I priced out some well on hinges and they were quite expensive. Then I got to thinking about it, you know, I've got some bar and some thick wall pot. I'll make my own hinge. So uh, this guy showed me some they had on his barbecue grill. Instead of doing hinges every so often, they run a piece of pipe all the way down and made one big solid hinge so it was even stronger. So that's what I'm gonna do for this door right here. So I've cut me a piece of solid half inch bar right here and I've got some pipe that it fits just inside of. And I've cut it in three different spots. So one hinge will actually weld to this uh, thick outer uh, frame right here. And then the other two will weld to the outside of this flip up door that I'm gonna do. All right, well, we've got her done. I tapped out the uh, holes in this 3 16th steel frame. Got me a heavy duty door made now. It'll flip down and all I did was take some of these leftover all threads that I had off the long bolts and welded them to some bolts that I'll put in here that will store inside. So if we want to close this, During the storm, we can get it tight. I need to drill that hole out just a little more, but it's my first time test fitting everything. Oh, there it goes. Just had a piece of trash in it. I may cut these bolts a little shorter to be faster, but if at any point we think we have some really bad wind coming, we'll go ahead and close the door over the AC and uh, batten down the hatches, so to speak. I thought about doing an even thicker door and thicker frame, um, but let's be realistic. There's gonna be an AC filling this entire hole up in here. So if a piece of debris does come flying in, it has to go through the entire AC unit, all the metal, compressor, coal, everything, and then go through a very stick filled uh, steel door, can't speak, before it would ever come inside the shelter. Plus, you're talking a small opening here. I mean, man, you probably got a better chance of hitting the lottery there than all that happening. But I feel very confident and comfortable that this will protect us, no doubt. And we can uh, flip it up out of the way when not in use, run the AC, put it down uh, when in use. And I'm calling this my escape hatch too. Some of y'all are probably looking at this going, hey, fat boy, ain't no way you're fitting through that opening. Let me show y'all something. 
All right, so there's the other side that's going to come in from the outside. And I know looking at that square, <laughs> there ain't no way a, a body's fitting through that, right? Well, let me show you. I've already tested all that. All right, so before I ever even ordered the AC, I looked at several different models, and they gave dimensions online. So I found the one that was one of the larger size ACs, and I did that for two reasons. Uh, one, if this AC ever goes out and I want to order a new one down the road, I don't want to have to find the exact one, or I didn't want to have an opening that was too small that I have to modify that being a nightmare. So I figure if I go with a bigger opening AC, I can always put a smaller AC in it and caulk around it or fill the uh, the gap in with something. Two, I wanted it as big of an opening as I get for us to fit through. Now, I went ahead and took those dimensions, cut out a piece of cardboard, and actually the cardboard opening is smaller than the steel opening. And uh, I, as goofy as it looks, I got out here in the shop and kind of made sure I could slide right through it. So if I need to climb through that and get outside, it looks like I can do it no problem. All right, so my plan is to drill a hole all the way through the wall at every corner and transfer this pattern to the outside to try to get as clean of a cut as I possibly can. Now, keep in mind I'm going through over six inches of wood, so I'm gonna have to kind of do some funky stuff to make this work out. Wow, that actually worked out really well. I can tell the bit got a little off coming through one of these two holes, but I went ahead and made sure I'm gonna cut a little larger. Um, and that turned out pretty good. I just got to get this one nail out of the way, actually two nails, so I don't dull my blades up. All right, well, I tell y'all what, I am losing daylight fast. Took quite a while to get that uh, escape hatch and AC hole made today but I am very happy with it. So I've got all my, my drawings up here uh, marked out where I'm gonna cut. I've got some huge holes drilled that I can fit my uh, big old Sawzall blade through and cut this out. And got the nails removed too that I was gonna hit. So fingers crossed I don't hit something that's buried inside that I can't see, but we'll deal with them if we do hit them. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. I just don't have time to cut all this out today, get uh, you know the little escape hatch installed and uh, paint it and just kind of get everything done So we'll wrap the video up here. That'll be the next episode escape hatch uh, We'll go ahead and trim it all out We'll go ahead and finish up the hardy board siding and kind of caulk and seal everything and make this as close to weather resistant as we can do And we'll probably go ahead and get the AC installed too After that it's kind of moving back to the interior um, Anchoring this thing down to the concrete. We got electrical to do we got to finish the ventilation so a lot of little things to do, several more episodes to go, no doubt. 
So I want to say thank you all so much for watching. I've been getting a lot of positive comments, a lot of new subscribers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, really, really does help the channel grow and gets us more exposure so we can keep kind of making these videos for you. We'll catch you on the next video.